These are the oldest goalkeeper gloves in the world. And that's me about to wear them in a real football match. Why? Well, I searched for the oldest goalkeeper gloves in the world. I found these from 1968 and I ordered them. And after waiting for a while, they finally arrived. And I tested them to feel what it was like to be a goalkeeper back in the old days. Are they good goalkeeper gloves? No. But in that video, I did say this. All right, if this video gets 5K likes or more, I will be wearing these goalkeeper gloves in an actual football game. Let's go, 5K likes. As promised, guys, we're here. It's match day today with TikTok United, the boys from TikTok here in the Netherlands. Normal goalkeeper gloves, not today. We got 5K likes on the video. We're gonna be wearing these today for the match day. The world's oldest goalkeeper gloves. Gonna be playing a full game in them. See how it goes. All right, let's get the warming up started. See how they feel. I remember this. They weren't too comfortable, but you guys know what I always preach. You don't have to have the most expensive goalkeeper gloves to be a great goalkeeper. It's all about your skills and your talent. So that's what we're gonna prove today. Let's get into the warming up. I think the most difficult things are going to be like those really tough hard shots. I think the really hard shots are going to be difficult to hold because the grip is not there. But beyond that, I think I'm going to be all right. So if we get a hard shot, I'm going to focus on pushing it to the ground and then holding on to it instead of just catching it one time. But I think we'll be all right. Definitely notice in the warming up, I'm letting go of a lot of balls that I should hold on to, which is quite a shame, but still, a couple good saves in there. As I said, it's all about you as a goalkeeper, not the gloves you wear. The warm up went well. I was confident in my own ability as a goalkeeper as to where I'm not dependent on good goalkeeper gloves to be able to play a good match. So as promised, here's the match in the old gloves. Let's see how we do. My first connection with the ball was an easy pass out to a field player. Next up, we got a cross coming in, went wide. Another pass coming in, easy collection by me. It's always nice to have an easy start to a game where you have a couple of collections, a couple of balls in the hands, just to get a feel for in the game because I really feel like that sets the mood for the game. Next up, we got our team given a nutmeg and a back heel pass. Huge one, two, great play from our team. We did have a really strong team here, so very happy with that. Next up, the other team makes a foul just on the edge of the box. We get a free kick here, and Ilias steps up to take it, and he smashes it, smashes it in. Honestly, the goalkeeper should have done better here. It was straight at him. Um, it went underneath the wall, but still, goalkeeper should have this every day of the week. Next up, the offense comes through. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Defender's kind of still in there as well. I decide to come off my line, make myself big for the 1v1 save. Very happy with this save. It, it, like I said, this save was really the one that set the mood for the rest of the game. So I was confident in myself, even though I was wearing these horrible gloves. All right, next up, we got a shot on goal. It's an easy shot, easy collection. It's a, a low climb side. Love that. Next up, we have the offense coming through with a great through pass from the opponent. So I had to come off my line super quick. And I really spread myself out here to make the 1v1 save. And I was very happy with this. And you can hear the kids go wild as well. So one of the biggest saves of the game right there to keep the clean sheet for now. Next up, we got the, them coming through again. I had to come outside the box, so I decided to boot it away just to keep it safe. Next, a good cross from the offense, but the header was off target, luckily. So we're still able to keep the clean sheet for now. I told you guys, we don't mess around here. I'm a man of my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. First half done. Kept a clean sheet for now, big 1v1 save. So very happy with my performance on the first half. I was able to keep the clean sheet, a couple of decent saves in there, big 1v1 save, got my confidence up for the second half. Let's see how we do. They're getting tougher to, to get into every time I put them on. But, uh, yeah, time for the second half, let's go. All right, so first connection of the second half my defender's not really ready for this the ball comes through and the attacker's able i had to come off my line so the attacker's able to scoop it over me a bit next up they come through again i had to come off the line for a 1v1 but it's kind of a scramble the ball goes off target so it's fine 
Uh, big through ball here. I'm able to collect it nice and easy. Shot on goal with a nasty bounce here. This shot is much more difficult than it actually looks just because of the bounce. And of course, the horrible gloves I'm wearing here. But I'm able to push it off to the side. Happy to get another save. Next, we got corners coming in. The attacker is able to get it on the inside of his boots, but I'm there. And I'm really happy I held off the save because it was a pretty difficult shot, but the gloves really didn't have any, any grip whatsoever. So happy with this. So next up, we got Ilias coming through on goal. Beautiful shot with the inside of the boot in the far corner. And look at the celebration here from the boys. Loving it. We're 2-1 up here. Doing very well. Uh, huge through ball coming here from the offense, and I'm able to collect it. Very happy I was able to hold on to this ball because it was a very difficult one. Um, you know, especially with these gloves, holding on to high balls like this, that was really my fear from the beginning because the grip was just not there at all. So happy with this one. All we had to do now was just keep the lead and we were able to win this. So, Ilias coming through our goal here again. He's got a 1-2 pass with Musa, and he's going to take the shot. No, nope. takes one defender out, takes the shot, boom. 3-1 to us, loving that. So we should have the win here in the pocket. Next, through ball coming from the offense. He scoops the defender, and it's a good finish from him. Honestly, I'm not sure if I could have done anything better here. He's passed the defender well. He's got a good turn in there and a good finish in the far corner. I decided to come off my line a bit. Maybe I shouldn't have, but all in all, good finish from him. It's 3-2 now. Hopefully, we can keep the lead to finish this game. Full of this through on goal here. He shoots. Goalkeeper saves. He shoots again. Defender saves off the line. On the crossbar. Moose has got it. He shoots, and he misses. <laughs> This is such a scramble, man. Can't believe we didn't finish this. But it's, we're still 3-2 up. Uh, hopefully we can get another goal to finish this. And Folkot's on the ball here again. Passes one defender, passes another. Cuts back, left foot, weak foot finish. And he's able to score the 4-2 for us. Takes his shirt off to celebrate as well. So now, surely, we should have the win in the bag here, right? All right, there's one another through ball coming here. Easy collection for me. Really trying to waste a bit of time here because we should have this in the bag. Another offense coming through, but it's an easy collection for me again. And that's it for the match. We win 4-2 on what a game it was. There was a big crowd there as well, which I love to see. I'm happy in my performance all in all. Wearing these super old gloves, man, it was very interesting. All right, so that was it for the match. It was good fun. Really interesting to wear these in a match and to actually feel what it was like to be a goalkeeper back in those days. I really felt like I channeled my inner Lev Yashin. I think it went pretty well, made some very good saves, did pretty all right. Now we're done. We've got a two hour drive back home. Um, I'll speak to you guys back home. What's up guys, we're back again with save of the week and the amount of saves you guys have sent this week is absolutely ridiculous and the level of these saves is insane as well. You guys sent me some bangers, but here are the top three saves of this week. So first up, we have VHO20 is his Discord name, and he's about to save a worldly of a free kick with a huge diving save to tip it over the crossbar. Absolutely incredible save. All right, so save two was by Brian from FC Bacau, and he's got to drop back to his line because they're attacking. The ball gets passed across, and he got some good footwork, and he's able to get his hand on there to stop the ball from crossing the line. Absolutely wonder save this. Love the footwork as well. For the last save, we've got Malcolm from EFK Skivde, and he's got a cross coming in. The attacker heads it to the top corner, but he's there with a beautiful diving save with his top hand to save the day. Absolutely beautiful. So I want you guys to comment down below which save you guys think was the best this week. And also, don't forget to join the Discord, join the GK fam, and send in your saves to have a chance to be featured in my next YouTube video. For now, all the best, guys.